Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about studying medicine or MBBS in RWTH Aachen. If you intend to apply for free education in Germany and would like to study MBBS completely free, then RWTH Aachen is one of the best universities in Germany that is offering free medicine degree or MBBS degree in Germany. So let's talk about some of the quick facts about RWTH Aachen. It's one of the older universities of Germany, which was founded in 1870 or 71, and it's located in NRW state of Germany. Currently, the number of enrolled students are almost 45,000, which is a very big number considering the number of enrolled students at different German universities. Now let's talk about uh, the medicine degree or MBBS degree at our WTH Aachen. The duration of this degree is 12 semester and three months. And the start of uh, degree is, uh, there is only one intake each year, which is the winter intake. And the studies or semester starts in October each year. The application period for international students starts in May and it ends in 15, on 15th of July. Uh, the students have to apply directly at the university uh, that we will see in the next steps. Uh, in the next step, we will also see the list of required documents that you need to apply for our WTH Aachen for medicine. So let's see how is the application process. It's only one step process, uh, therefore, um, I have mentioned only step one. Uh, the very first thing you have to do is to register on the RWTH online portal. Uh, I will place a link for, of this portal in the description. You can directly go to the, uh, the portal. Uh, and once you have registered yourself, you will get an email uh, with a link. You have to click on that link within one week. And once you click on that link, you will land on a page where you will get a predefined username uh, that will consist of some numbers and alphabets and you have to uh, note it somewhere down because uh, it's not created by you and uh, you might forget this username uh, if you haven't noted down. Uh, in the next step, you have to create the password and with this uh, predefined username, and uh, the password that you will create yourself, you will be able to log in into the application system. Now, once you have logged into the application system, you will find a section which is called application section. Uh, you just click on uh, that section and the system will guide you through the um, different steps so that you can start uh, entering your personal information, your academics, you can upload your uh, documents and we will see in the next step what documents do you need. But one thing you need to uh, make sure that before you start creating your application, uh, it's important that you create all your documents, you scan all your documents and create PDF documents. Um, it's because this portal will accept PDF format uh, documents uh, and it is important that you have prepared these documents in PDF so that you can uh, upload them and complete the application process. Now let's see that uh, what are the documents that you need to uh, upload. Uh, the very first is you have to create a tabular form CV. Uh, the tabular form CV you will get, you can get format in from Google. Uh, on the left hand side, you usually enter your timeline and on the right hand side, you put the activities that you have performed during certain period. Uh, and you have to make sure that uh, you do not uh, give gaps between uh, the timeline. If there is some gap, if you have done some activity, uh, please mention it. It's important that the, there are no gaps in the tabular form of uh, for, format of CV. Next is your academic certificates. Um, usually you are done with your 12th grade certificate or A level, depending on what curriculum you have completed. Uh, so you create the PDF 
uh, of your academic set, uh, documents. Uh, in some kind countries, it's important that you also take part in some entrance exam. And if you have taken part in the entrance exam at your home country, um, you can upload that document. It's not mandatory for everyone. It's mandatory only for those uh, like people in Iran. Uh, they also they have to uh, take part in the university entrance exam and you have to upload this uh, document also. Now, uh, if the you are coming from a curriculum that is not considered equivalent with the German school living uh, school living certificate, then you have to take part in foundation course. Uh, what is foundation course? I have made another video about it. Um, uh, and at the end of foundation course, you have to take an exam which is called Feststellungsprüfung, and you have to uh, upload the grades that you have acquired during the uh, that exam of Feststellungsprüfung, or it is also called FSP. Um, but if you are coming from A level uh, uh, or British curriculum, you do not need this. So it also depends on whether you require it or not, uh, and whether you require to take part in foundation course or not. You can also watch another video uh, to check your uh, how you can check your eligibility, whether you can apply directly for medicine or bachelor degree, or you need to attend the foundation course. Um, next is the higher education certificates. Uh, it's also uh, not mandatory. It's um, it depends on uh, individual profiles. If you have studied uh, one or two or three semesters uh, in your home country at some university, uh, then you can upload this document. Uh, the next important and mandatory document is the result of test AS. Uh, this test AS, uh, you can find the detailed information on the website of test AS, uh, but it is for foreign students who intend to uh, study medicine um, in Germany. Uh, not all universities require this, but most of the universities require this and RWTH Aachen is also one of those. Um, you can take this exam also in your home country. Um, on the website of the test AS, you will find the test centers which are available in different countries. Usually these are the Goethe Institutes or British Council uh, test centers, uh, but you can specifically check which country you belong to and uh, where you can take this test AS exam. And you have to come up with at least 80 points um, and the, the subjects are also mentioned here. Uh, Another important requirement is that you have to come up with nursing service of 90 days. Uh, it is not mandatory at the time of application. You can also complete it during the star first or second semester of uh, your um, medicine. But if it's uh, you have already completed it um, for 30 days or 60 days uh, or even 90 days, it's, um, it will make a good impression on your application. Uh, so if you have, have time and you have the possibility uh, to do this nursing service, please do it uh, before you apply. And now the next is uh, because the medicine studies in Germany and also at RWTH Aachen will be in German language. Therefore, you have to uh, fulfill the requirement of uh, German language and this you can fulfill by either C1 certificate or test DAF 4x4 or DSH2. Now what is test DAF and what is DSH? I have made another video about it. Uh, and what does this test uh, DAF 4x4 means? Uh, or what does this DSH2 means? You can also get this detail in the other video. I will put a link of this video also in the uh, description. And uh, the Application process overall for RWTH is uh, RWTH Aachen is a, uh, very simple because you only have to apply online on the university's website and you uh, do not need to even send the documents in hard copy form. Online application would be sufficient. Uh, there is no second step or third step of application. Um, so 
please make sure that you fulfill all these requirements and apply for it if you have any further question you can uh, put it in the comment section and uh, we will try to answer uh, your questions uh, if you like the video please share it with your friends uh, who are also interested uh, in medicine course from germany it's a great opportunity to study medicine without paying any tuition fee and please subscribe my channel so that i can produce more content for you thank you for watching the video and i wish you all the best for your application